Yes. I'm coming to bring you a message to them. I'm going to bring you some information about the Father, about the Son. And probably it's going to be about the Holy Spirit because it's all about the Godhead. You understand? Um, this message today is going to be called Trust the Shepherd. It's going to be called Trust the Shepherd. And that shepherd is Jesus Christ. And you know, it's going to come from the Old Testament. It's going to come from Psalms 23. Where it said, the Lord is my shepherd. So I want you to understand one thing. That the Lord is my shepherd. And to all believers, the Lord is your shepherd too. But since I'm coming out of Psalms 23, some people could have related with God the Father. The shepherd or Jesus Christ the shepherd but today I want to see this as a prophecy from David see I want to see this as a prophecy from David see I want you to see that Jesus is the shepherd you know I want you to see that today it says therefore the shepherd here is Jesus Christ so when I speak on Psalms 23 today I'm going to make it like Jesus is the shepherd. But I want you to know also that God is a shepherd too. And I also want you to know to make it so strange. Even the Holy Spirit is a shepherd. And even the word of God is a shepherd. But today we're going to talk about Christ being the shepherd. You know, in John 10 11, we are informed of us that Jesus is the shepherd of all believers the believers that believe in Jesus Christ and follow Jesus Christ. See, therefore, if you, therefore, if you are a believer of Jesus Christ, but you don't follow Christ, Jesus Christ cannot lead you. See, if you go around saying that you believe in Jesus Christ, you get, it's, it's so many people that tell me they believe in Jesus Christ. I just don't understand it, how they can tell me they believe in Jesus Christ, but understand, but they can't follow Jesus Christ. They can go around and tell you they believe in Jesus Christ, but they don't follow Jesus Christ. How can you tell me you believe in Jesus Christ and you don't follow Jesus Christ? But if you don't follow Jesus Christ, that means Jesus Christ can't lead you. And if Jesus Christ is not leading you, then guess what? Jesus is not your shepherd. Jesus can only be your shepherd if you follow Jesus Christ. That means if you live by the leadings of Jesus Christ. That is the only way that Jesus Christ can be your shepherd. Therefore, if you are a believer of Jesus Christ, but you don't follow Christ, Jesus Christ cannot lead you. You must commit to Jesus Christ. You must diligently follow Christ to receive the blessings David speak about in Psalms 23. So he said, you must diligently, diligently follow Christ to receive the blessings that David speaks about in Psalms 23. Now, do you want to receive the blessings that David's talk about in Psalms 23? Are you willing to follow Jesus Christ? Then just say, I believe in Jesus Christ. See, the only way that he can truly be your shepherd, you, you know, he said, my shepherd, hear my voice. You know, he said, my sheep hear my voice and my sheep follow me. So, if you follow in Jesus, so if you follow in Jesus, you believe in Jesus, and you follow in Jesus, then you can receive the blessings <laughs> that sign that David talked about in Psalms 23. Now, now, let us go through the verses in Psalms 23. See, I'm gonna take you on a little journey through Psalms 23. We're gonna speak on these verses dealing with John 23 and see what happened when you follow the good shepherd who is Jesus Christ. It says, the first verse says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
That's all it say. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I wrote, I'm going to kind of explain these verses, so I'm going to do a little reading today from my little notes too. It says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That means Jesus will take care of your spiritual, mental, and physical, and financial needs. So, he will take care of everything that you need taken care of if you let him lead you, or more, or more or less I say, if you will follow Jesus, <laughs> the shepherd. I've never been broke in none of these areas since I've been with Jesus. I ain't never been broke since I've been with Jesus, the good shepherd. I have, I have established faith, hope, love, joy, peace, finance, stable mind, etc. It's a plus when you follow the shepherd, Jesus. But you got to trust the shepherd. And the only way you can trust the shepherd is you got to follow him. And guess what? You don't have to worry about all these wants or all these needs if you follow Jesus because they will be taken care of if you follow Jesus. That's why David can say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Because David knew the significance in following the shepherd. And the shepherd is Jesus. David noticed it, knew how important it was to trust the shepherd. And, and he did trust the shepherd. And the shepherd is Jesus. So, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. <laughs> it's solid. If you trust and follow the shepherd as he leads you. Then he said, he makes me to lie down in green pasture. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. That means the shepherd puts you in a green pasture. Jesus makes sure you are well fed spiritually, mentally, and physically. Jesus will not let you go hungry for anything. For anything. I ain't just talking about the physical well. I'm talking about the spiritual well. I'm not just talking about the physical well. I'm talking about your everyday living life. As far as job, money, employment, or whatever you need, he will not let you go hungry. He will not let you suffer in them areas if you trust the shepherd. But you got to trust the shepherd. You must trust Jesus. And when you do, all your needs will be fully supplied. When you trust the shepherd, all your needs will be fully supplied. See, when you trust the shepherd, you won't be lack for nothing. But you got to trust the shepherd. But you got to trust the shepherd. In part B of that verse, I broke it down a little bit. So in part B, he led me besides the still water. Jesus will lead you beside the still water. Jesus will keep you. Jesus will keep peace and calmness in your life if you trust Jesus. All that crazy living and problems will disappear if you trust Jesus. If you trust Jesus. All the more crazy things that you used to get your problems and stuff. All them irrelevant things that used to cause you problems and stuff. All them things that made it so you couldn't have peace. If you trust the shepherd and say, and follow the shepherd, all them things disappear. All them things disappear. Do you want them to disappear in your life? Do you want them to disappear in your life? Do you want a life of peace? As he leads you by the still water. Do you want a life of peace? Do you want a life of comfort? Do you want a life of joy? Huh? Do you want that? Well, then trust Jesus. And follow the shepherd. And follow the shepherd. Then he said, then, then David said, he restores my soul. And Jesus will restore your soul. <laughs> See, Jesus came to save us. And that means when he came to save us, he came to renew us. That means he came to renew us. That means Jesus will renew your mind, heart, and spirit. 
Jesus will replace that evil soul with a good soul. Jesus will be a new person in you. <clears throat> you see, Jesus will make you new. So you will be a new person in Christ Jesus. Therefore, Jesus will make you new. He will make you new. Old things passed away. Behold, all things become new. And that's the, that's the restoration that takes place in your life when you trust the shepherd. When you trust the shepherd. But you got to trust the shepherd. You got to get into the shepherd. So the shepherd can give you a new mind, a new heart, and a new spirit. That comes through trusting the shepherd. Then part B of the verse says... Uh, says he leads me he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake so jesus will guide you into the paths of righteousness he will take you out of the paths of wickedness he will take you out of the paths of evilness he will take you out of the paths of destruction he will take you out of the paths of hell he will take you out of all them negative paths because it says jesus will guide you into the path of righteousness after all, Jesus is our righteousness. We will think right and do right when you use when you used to do a lot of negative things in your life. <laughs> but that will cease. You will do right, you will think right, and you will live right. And you will get your negative things out of your life. They will stop. They will completely stop if you allow if you follow Jesus and allow the Holy Spirit to work into your life because Jesus is the shepherd that you must trust. See, all this comes through Jesus, the shepherd. Then it says, now you will do the right thing when you follow Jesus, the shepherd. Jesus do this to prove that he is righteous for his name's sake because he is righteous. Jesus do it for his name's sake, not yours. See, your name ain't righteous. Understand that. Your name ain't righteous, but Jesus' name is righteous. Jesus is righteousness. So if you want to get it right, you got to trust to Jesus so you can live in that righteousness that he's talking about. This righteousness that he's talking about. Righteousness is in Christ Jesus. But you got to trust the shepherd. But you got to trust the shepherd. Verse 4, verse, uh, verse four says, Yes, though I walk through the belly of the shadow of death, I will fear no, e no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rise and thy staff, they comfort me. So I want to go back to the first part. Yea, though I walk through the belly of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. No matter what you go through in this wicked world, <laughs> don't fear it. Don't fear evil. No matter what you go through in this wicked world, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Because you got Jesus. There ain't nothing to be scared of. Trust the shepherd. You got Jesus. And then it says, then it says, uh, 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 for thou art with me. Thy rod, which is thy power and thy authority, and thy staff, which is your helper and your assistant, they comfort me. And that help and that assistant is called who? The Holy Spirit. See, 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 and thy rod, which is your authority, which is the Holy Spirit that dwells in me, and thy staff, which is my assistant, which is the Holy Spirit that is in me, and it's comfort me because I follow the shepherd, because I follow the shepherd, because I follow the shepherd, and since I follow the shepherd, and I trust in the shepherd, and the shepherd, the shepherd, Jesus Christ, guess what? I can't be touched. And since I know that I can't be touched, understand this. And since I know I can't be touched because of my shepherd, I have nothing to fear. So bring it. Bring it because I'm standing on solid ground with Jesus. 
I'm standing on the solid ground with Jesus. Can't nothing get me to turn away from Jesus. I'm going to trust and rely on my shepherd, my shepherd because he is my survivor, and my survivor is Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd, I should not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I will not be scared. The Lord is my shepherd, I can go through this life with no problem. The Lord is my shepherd, and I trust my shepherd. So I should not want. I can't, I can't be turned away because I got the shepherd. I got the Almighty Son with the Almighty God, with the Almighty Spirit, and with the Almighty Word. I can't be touched. And I don't fear nothing, and I'm not scared of nothing because I got the shepherd. And that shepherd's name is Jesus, and I trust the shepherd. And I trust the shepherd. I go on to say, because you are in Jesus, and Jesus is in you, <laughs> you who is our victory. Jesus is our victory, our conqueror, and our overcomer. So why would I be scared? Why would I be scared of evil? Why would I fear evil? And I got victory in me. And I got conqueror in me. And I'm an overcomer in me. Because I got Jesus. Ooh, because I got Jesus, I will not be scared. I trust my shepherd. I hope you trust your shepherd too. I hope you trust your shepherd too. I hope you trust your shepherd too. And to continue on part B of that, it said, Jesus, Jesus' authority and assistance will give you comfort. And that authority comes through the power of the Holy Spirit that he placed in us that give us some authority. And it assists us and will give you comfort, the Holy Spirit. But you got to be follow the shepherd, Jesus. Where there is comfort, there is inner peace, a sound mind, love, etc. Trust the shepherd, Jesus Christ. So today you got to trust that shepherd because the Lord is my shepherd. But you got to trust that shepherd. Then let's go on with me to verse 5. Tell you I'm going to walk it on down. Verse 5 said, Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Jesus is letting your enemies know he is taking care of you. Jesus will protect and care for you in your enemy's presence. You just got to trust the shepherd Jesus. You just got to trust the shepherd Jesus. See, see, there ain't nothing your enemy can do with you. He said in front of your enemy, he said he's going to make you shine. He said in front of your enemy, you're going to show him that you a winner. In front of your enemy, you still going to have peace, joy, love, comfort, stability. In front of your enemy, he's going to let him see you win while he's losing. Because that's the kind of Jesus we serve. Because that's the kind of Jesus we say. He gonna let him know that you are well protected in front of your enemy. You think he gonna let you lose? Let me tell you something. You better trust that shepherd. Because that shepherd, Jesus, that shepherd, Jesus, is going to take care of you. I know because he took care of me and he's still taking care of me because I trust the shepherd. I trust the shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I trust the shepherd. I hope you do too. <laughs> and then over there in, in, in part B of this verse, I broke them down in section. Part B of this verse said, Thou anoint my head with oil, my cups running over. So it's otherwise, he's saying, You have filled my mind, heart, and spirit with the Holy Spirit. No. You see, he said, You have filled my heart. Mind and spirit with the Holy Spirit without limits. So what I'm trying to say is the spirit that now dwells in you, it has no limit. You got unlimited resource through the Holy Spirit that's in you if you use it. But you can't use it if you don't believe in it. You don't have to think negative when you can think positive because you got a positive spirit in you. You don't have to have an evil heart when you got a good heart.
because you got the Holy Spirit in you. <laughs> you got to understand that. You know, you don't have to have a wicked spirit when you got the good spirit in you. So let that Holy Spirit express itself out of you. Believe in the power and authority of that Holy Spirit that dwells in you. So you got a sound mind. You got a sound mind. You got a loving heart. And you got a peaceful spirit. Let it work its way through. See? You got to let it work its through. The Holy Spirit will constantly work in you without stopping. Trust the shepherd, Jesus Christ. Trust the shepherd, Jesus Christ. Now let's go to verse 6. That's the final verse. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. So, without a doubt, goodness, mercy, and God's love will be with me and you forever. It's not a temporary thing. This goodness and mercy endures forever. This goodness and mercy will be with us forever. It will never disappear. It will never go away. It's not temporary. It's permanent. Permanent. So it's something that's going to always be with you. It's never going away. Then part B of the verse says, uh, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. <laughs> This so otherwise it's saying, I will be in the presence of Jesus and God forever. This means eternal life with Jesus and God on the new earth and the new heaven. Trust the shepherd, Jesus Christ. See, when you follow him and you keep trusting in him and keep letting him lead you through so you won't have to go through this world all messed up and hurting and all these other Things that can mentally destroy you or spiritually destroy you or some of them got to do with physically destruction that can be avoided when you follow Jesus. When you follow Jesus, you can be covered. But the thing about it, when you're following the shepherd and when you're following the shepherd, letting the shepherd lead you, he leading you straight to eternal life. He leading you straight to the new heaven and to the new earth. He leading you to the process of growing. The process of living a good life through Jesus Christ. These things are things that we cannot get on our own. You can only get it by trusting the shepherd. By trusting the shepherd, Jesus Christ. And you know, if you don't know Jesus Christ today as your Savior, I would say today is a good day to make a commitment to him. Commit to him and make him the Lord and Savior of your life. Believe that he is the Son of God and make him the Lord and Savior of your life and commit to him and follow the shepherd, Jesus Christ. Trust that shepherd, Jesus Christ. Rely on that shepherd, Jesus Christ. And when you do all that, everything in the Word of God in the New Covenant will come together as a whole. And you will see the goodness of the God. You will see the goodness of God. You will see the goodness of the Holy Spirit. You will see the goodness of God's Word. You will see the goodness that took place in your life. You will have a revelation of what you are now to what you was. And you will see how much better you are now than you was in the past. If you just trust the shepherd, Jesus Christ. I want you to know that I'm, I have videos on YouTube. Feel free to go there and watch them. And, uh, Subscribe if you feel like it. My channel is Thomas Patterson. My channel is Thomas Patterson. So I hope this message, this information, was a blessing to you. I couldn't do it if it wasn't for the Almighty God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. They are all one working together in me. They are all one working together in you. They are all one period, but you got to understand the operation. And then you got to let them lead you. You got to let them guide you and you got to submit to them and let them work in your life so that you can grow and grow and grow because there's no limit of grow with God. There's no limit of growth with God. God's grace is unlimited. Continue to receive his grace. Continue to receive his grace. His grace is Jesus. His grace is him. His grace is his Holy Spirit. His grace is his word. 
His grace is his love. His grace is everything that he do for you because he do it out of grace. Accept God's grace and have a great life. I want you to know that I love everyone that views my videos. I hope they be a blessing to you. And I say let God be a blessing to you today. And I hope this be a blessing to you today. And have a nice day.